Hey, I'm Josh, and today I'm going to be walking you through the process of creating your first website with Super and Notion. For those that don't know, Super is a tool that takes content from a Notion page and turns it into a fast, modern, static website. In a nutshell, your website content lives in Notion, while Super serves as an additional layer on top of Notion, enhancing it with extra features and customization options. To follow along with this video and create your own website, all you're going to need is a free account on both Notion and Super. So if you haven't already, let's head to super.so, click the Get Started button and create our Super account. If you've already got an account, let's go ahead and log in. So to begin with, we're going to explore the different ways in which you can create your first website with Super. The first option is to use a Super template. If you're new to both Notion and Super, or you want a head start, Super templates are the perfect solution. Super templates come with a pre-built Notion page as well as a completely custom design in Super. We have a whole bunch of different templates for all kinds of websites. However, they do require an upgraded site plan. For more information and to learn how to install and use a Super template, check out the link in the description. The second option is to start with a template from the Notion template gallery. These templates only come with a pre-built Notion page and not any custom styles in Super. These templates are handy for when you don't have any content or you're not sure where to start. To use one, first simply sign up to Notion if you haven't already, click the Get Template button and duplicate it to your own workspace. The third and final option is to use an existing Notion page or to start from scratch. Today, I'm going to be starting with some existing content that I've already drafted in Notion for a portfolio website. It contains some basic blocks and a database for portfolio work. Whichever method you use, it's important to say that you can actually use any Notion page to create a website in Super. So once you're ready and you've got a Notion page as a starting point, let's create the website in Super. The first thing we need to do is click the share button at the top right of the Notion page. From here, click into the publish tab, click the publish button, and now we just need to copy the site link. Now we can head into Super and click create site, Give the site a name, paste in the site URL that we just copied and click create site. And it will take just a few seconds for Super to take that content from Notion and spin up a modern, fast, customizable static website. And you can see already that's been done and the site is now actually live and it's ready to view on our free domain. So it's really that simple to get a site set up and running with Notion and Super. From here, I'm going to do some small design changes to the site's appearance. To do this, let's head into Super and into the site design page. I'm going to start by going into the layout page and hiding the page headers, as well as tweaking the rounding on some of the block edges. Nice. Let's go back and into the colors page. From here, I'm going to set the default color mode to dark. Next, I'm going to go back and change some of the typography options. So let's head in here going to change the secondary font to a mono type style font and then I'm going to tweak some of the font sizes just a little bit. I think that's all for the design options. Now let's take a look at how content updates work in Super. So if we head into the Notion page for our site and we make a small content update, for example, we remove a word from the headline. In order for this change to be reflected immediately on our website, we can go into the Super dashboard and click the Refresh Content button. Super does automatically check for updates in the background, but how often will depend on your site plan. On free sites, updates happen every 24 hours, on personal sites every 4 hours, and on pro sites every hour. But all users can access the instant updates using the Content Refresh button. Pages on Super work in a similar way. If we go into the Pages page, we can see Super has automatically created pages for all of our blog post pages and all of our project pages. If we want to add more pages to our site, we do this by going into Notion. We can type forward slash page to create a new page. Let's just use some basic placeholder content for now. Then back in Super, we can use the Refresh Page List button, which will pull any new updates and update the page list for us. You can see that the page has appeared in Super and we can now navigate to it to view the content. So that's how quick and easy it is to create your first site with Super and there's so much more yet to discover. We have a full video dedicated to adding navigation menus to your site so why not check out that video next. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions please don't hesitate to get in touch. Until next time, stay super.